um, the mechanic of reviving was a real thing in the first rolls of the round where you could revive characters between rounds. Yeah. Um, is that I didn't notice that in the demo. Is that still something you do? Or is it more? Is it different now with the rebalancing of the the way? Yeah, the it's totally different. So right. uh, yeah. I'm so glad that you did play the first game and that you have these like specific mechanics questions because I love to mm. answer these kinds of questions. <laughs> so we, we the, do like yeah. to go deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so again, it, uh, for anyone in the audience who's not familiar, um, when you sewered a hero in the first game, that hero was technically like not dead, but like out of commission until they were yeah. revived. Uh, and revival, I believe, required a full mana bar, which requires you to work the table okay, quite did. a bit. And yep. um, again, I think, you know, the way I felt about that was I liked the idea of it, but the, again, for flow reasons, it was sort of taking away from your speed of getting table objectives and stuff like that. You're like, well, now I, Christ, I have to divert and do this. And it was a little, um, not, I, I, what I wanted to do was make it even easy, again, even easier to play and even easier to understand how not to lose the the play field entirely and yeah. so in the sequel when a hero sewers that hero is not taken out of play but you lose a heart so we didn't and uh, it's so now it's more yeah, like right. rpgs it's like you see your little lineup of hearts and when the hero sewers a little heart explodes and is gone and now you have one last heart and when all of your hearts are gone now you've lost the play field it, and i just looked at that as that was my ball count they, that they is like, basically totally is. your ball like, count. Hey, it's a three ball game. It's a three heart game. Okay. Yeah. yeah now, <laughs> what's cool about that is when you do hero upgrades, uh, you're going to be able to uh, upgrade your hearts uh, on a per hero basis. Okay. And then, since you can only field three of your five total, it's like, well, what am I going for here? Am I going for like the fast ball with a little bit of health or the bigger ball, the slow ball with more hearts? Or like, how am I concocting my recipe for this particular play field? Because you're not going to be able to like easily upgrade hero hearts. It's going to be an expensive upgrade. And so you'll have to really think about what you're doing in terms of the, the uh, spread of your, um, what you're sinking your gold pieces into for upgrade.